What's up guys, EMG Smash Central here, and today I have a very special surprise, a homemade RPG done by a friend of mine named Marcus. I'm going to put all the links in the description, and I know, I actually know people in real life who do cool things. So uh, we're going to try it out. I know nothing about this game, I know nothing, I don't know what to expect. All I know is that it's an RPG, and I believe it is maybe created on the RPG Maker app. I'm not sure, like I don't even... I don't even know the controls. Like, is it W A S D? Oh my God! What am I doing? Holy crap! What are, What are all these symbols? How do I backspace? How do I? Oh, oh! You know what? Oh God! We're just We're just gonna go with with Hero as our hero name. Prince Edwin, I'm very glad you came to hear me out, Hero. I'll be honest, I was starting to lose hope, but then I heard of the town hero of Thorndale, and I knew they could help me out. Yeah, I'm a pretty big deal. That's exactly the type of confidence I need for the task. I should stress this will be a dangerous task. Knowing this, are you still up for it? I don't know. Please, I'm desperate. I'm gonna be honest, every other person I've tried has failed. You are my last hope. Alright, I guess. Prince Edwin, Kingdom of Esther to the north of here. Sadly, the kingdom has fallen to monsters. My parents killed in the attack, and my brother disappeared a few days ago to find the one responsible. Most of the monsters have left, but a small occupying force has remained. Sadly, unlike my brother, I'm no fighter, which is why I need assistance. I need a powerful warrior to help me reclaim my kingdom. Alright, so we got the uh, little story background here. There's a bunch of monsters in the kingdom. We gotta flush them out. Monsters can't function without leadership, so I think I gotta go, like, snipe out the big boss or something. Oh, we're gonna get some money. Okay, 300 gold. Um... You know what? You know what? I'll stop being a dick, and I'll just go with the positive yes answer. Let's do it. Okay, so, so far, arrow keys to move. Oh, was that an attack? No, it's just me walking around with my sword. Okay. Um, uh, how do I... Okay, enter to talk to people. Off on a big adventure. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, what else? What else can I do? Oh, I can hold shift to run? Is that what, is that what just happened? Oh... Hold shift to run, baby. Can I crouch? Can I jump? Okay, we still learn it. We still learn it out here. Oh, I can I can press spacebar to talk to people too. Okay. So. Yo, this music though. I wonder, like, if he took the music from other games or uh, if this is like original tunes. This is pretty cool. Look at this! Do I have like a menu? Can I access... Can I access a menu? I don't think so. Okay. Let us continue on the journey. General store... Weapon shop. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should get some weapons for our journey. I got like 300 guap. Oh, everything's so cheap! You know what? Let's go with the copper sword. And we'll go with the slingshot, just so we have some uh, some range as well. You hit escape to exit menus. Okay. Okay. Escape is like the start button. Cool. Oh, look at this. Let's go. Switch that out. Oh, I can't. Oh, a slingshot's a main weapon. Oh, rip. Okay. Okay, looks like you're gonna learn like different skills and whatnot as you level up. Pretty cool. Oh. Okay. It's like, um, like one of the early Final Fantasy games almost. This is crazy. A hungry box! Oh my goodness. It's a hungry box. Okay, so instead of like WASD, it looks like Z. Z, X, yeah, Z and X are your A and B buttons. That's pretty cool. Oh, damn, I got one HP. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, okay, that's not good. That's super not good. Okay, rest it up at the end. Am I all good? Yeah, I got full HP. Let's do it. Oh, the bridge to passage cave is closed down at the moment. Esther to the north of here. 
Oh yeah, I'm going south. Derp. Everyone's telling me to go north, and I just keep going south. Alright, we gotta go north. To the north! Hopefully I don't see another hungry box, because I don't think I can take those things on at, like, level one. Oh god! Oh god! Do I have, like... No? Do I have... Oh! Oh god, this is this is not working. All right, definitely. What this dude's just like laying here. Definitely can't fight the hungry boxes at level one. Holy crap! This king. Oh my goodness! Holy crap! What the hell? Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die here. Oh, I'm dead. Rip. That was fast. Alright, now that I figured out the A and B buttons, I was able to rename my character. And I know, I know it's going to work out a lot better this time. I just have a feeling. I know the controls now. We buy a crap ton of medicine. Alright, the kid is super stocked up now. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. So, I'm just going to go straight down the stairs. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? He attacks first? Holy crap. Holy... Oh my god. Well, shit. No, let me heal. Oh, no, what is this? I thought I healed. And he goes first. And I'm dead. Alright, so I messaged my buddy Marcus who made the game and I'm like, bro, I gotta be doing something wrong. Like, I keep, I keep dying, there's gotta be like some sort of NPC I'm supposed to add to my party somewhere, but I talked to all the NPCs and I didn't find anybody. Turns out, there was one guy I didn't talk to. So we're gonna go back to the first area, use our warp feather. Ah, crap. I don't know the names of places. Um, we'll try this one. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, that did not work. Okay, whatever. We'll walk there. We'll walk there. Alright, so I just double-checked my buddy's message to make sure I'm not crazy. And he said, in the inn, there's a dude in between the woman and the priest. The woman, the priest, and the dude in between. I swear I just talked to you. I guess... Oh, I thought he was asking me if I wanted to stay at the inn. I just, I just said on second thought. Uh, yeah, we'll keep him. We'll keep him with his, uh, his OG. Oh, oh god. We'll keep him with his OG name. Uh, let's go with a, f a female one. Jordan is the female. Okay. Oh, I'm getting. I'm getting another one? Okay, I'm a dude, so we'll have two girls, two guys. Cameron's also a female name? Okay. I don't judge. Talismans? You can change their classes? Oh my, oh, look at the crew! Look at the squad! This, oh my lord, this is gonna make things so much easier. Okay, I'm ready. Let's friggin' go. Oh, I sh actually should've got uh, some equipment from my homies. Mage, medic, and a pirate. Oh, I don't have a pirate or a soldier. Damn it! Oh crap! This may be bad. I don't think the crew is ready for this yet. Oh my god! Oh lordy! Yeah, the crew was definitely. Definitely not prepared for this. Oh, rip! I'm gonna have to go revive these guys and get them some armor. Don't. Oh, he died. He died. Everybody rip. Okay, I gotta get the hell out. They're still. They're still following me even though they died? They died in battle? Oh lord, I'm about to die in battle. 
Okay, maybe not. No damage? What? Okay, one more hit. One more hit. Come on. Let's go. There we go. Okay, hopefully we can get out of this area without another encounter. Yes. Alright, so first we gotta heal up the crew. Because apparently when you revive people, they don't go to full health. And I think before we go into the wilderness, I gotta farm just a little bit more gold so I can get some like weapons and armor for these guys, because I don't have much right now. And these guys can't really carry shields, that's the problem. Alright, maybe with this armor, we'll actually uh, be able to do something. These guys just gotta level up real quick. Once they level up, we'll be friggin' in there. Oh god, my teammates do no damage. Oh god, they're dying. Yay, they're learning stuff. Oh, I got a healer now. I'm so stoked. Let's go. We just gotta get these guys to like one more level up. And then I think we'll be ready. We can kind of make our way over there, I guess. You know what? Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just do it. They got skills now. I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of confident. All right, let's kill these a-holes. One down. Ooh, that wasn't enough. Okay, you're gonna block. I gotta let these guys get some, uh... Get some whatchamacall, some EXP. Uh oh, everybody defending. That's not good. Belly flop on him, my dude. No damage. You know what, just kill him. Kill him. Everybody kill him. Everybody go in. One damage. One damage. One damage. 30 damage. <laughs> Useless team. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna try and get to the north as far as I can, because I just went to the right side. Edited it out, because I went absolutely nowhere. And uh, hopefully we can get through this super quick. You're gonna guard. You're gonna guard, because you keep getting wrecked. And you can go in. Please do some damage. Oh my god. Don't die, guys. Okay, we live in. We live in. Yo, that team heal, though. That was sick. A rusty halberd? Yo, squad leveling up, too? Aw, uh, he can't wield it. I think my main guy is the only guy that could uh, wield it, probably. Oh, I already have a rusty halberd. Damn it. Oh my god, Aaron got a burn. This is not good. I wonder if the team heal will uh, get rid of that. Thunderbolt! Oh, let's go. Oh my god, double kill. Kill it with fire! How do I heal burns? Do I have anything to heal burns? Uh oh. He gon' die of his burn, that's no good. Are she no longer burned? Oh, it only lasts for that one battle? We in there, we live in. These guys need to get some of their MP back, so we gotta guard a bit. Hopefully we get some back. Oh. No double kill for me this time. Everybody guard, except you. You can go in. Oh, rip. Rip. Knight's Blade? Oh my god. Can you equip a Knight's Blade, my dude? Yes, you can. There you go. The squad is strong now. Okay, so guarding doesn't uh, increase MP, it just increases SP, whatever that is. I think it's like skill point. So some some stuff costs skill points, some co stuff costs magic points. I'm confused. Okay, yeah, some st mages use magic points and other people use skill points. Okay, I, I understand. Get him, Cameron. Yes, Cameron coming clutch after I missed. 
Oh, thank God the crew's leveling. We got some MP back, baby. Okay, so the pawns are the bigger issue. We gotta get rid of the pawns because they are like mages essentially and they do a lot of damage with their fireballs. They also have burn. Oh, good shit, Cameron. Please die! Oh, wow! No damage. No damage. There we go. Get out of here. He got rushing tackle? Oh my goodness. The squad is leveling up. Okay, so what we need to do here is guard. Give you first A so you get some uh, level up there. You can shock both of them. Oh. Okay. Holy crap, critical hit, let's go. Double. Oh, they got smoked. Another rusty halberd. Okay, I'm getting a lot of weapons that I can just go sell now and have a ton of money for, like, potions and stuff. Which is good. This is good. Okay, so it said yet another human has come to visit. You'd think after so many have met their end uh, to our... Whatever that says, they would learn we cannot be defe defeated. Seems the humans do not respect us. I believe we should teach them a lesson, shouldn't we, D? Oh, it says deer? Maybe. Should. Do I. Can I. No, I can't make the screen bigger. I don't know. Kill more, put fear in the humans' hearts. <laughs> After we destroy you, we'll have to go and show the other humans in town why we should be respected. Oh shit, look at this! The Dread King and the Mad Queen. Okay. I wish I could tell how much HP they have, but uh that's that's not it's not going to happen. Oh god, 10 damage. Not good. Okay, you need to die. You need to heal the team, but you can't heal the entire team, so you gotta heal the main guy at least. We gotta, we gotta get rid of at least the king. Oh god, rip Aaron. Okay, king down. They have like 100 HP. Holy crap. So, what you have to do, my dude, is heal me like that, and then, hopefully you can make him flinch. Damn it, evaded. Oh, let's go. Yo, I got a crown, the dread crown. Celebrate, let your ego swell, so that you will fall into greater despair when you are utterly crushed by our allies. Lord Elis's power is immense. You, you don't stand a chance. You return to Thorndale to give Prince Edwin the good news. Esther has been freed from the clutches of the Dread King. Weeks pass as the rebuilding commenced. Prince Edwin has summoned you to Esther Castle. Victory parade? Smash the second! I can't believe it, you actually defeated them. Esther is free! I don't even know what to say, I'm so excited, I'm completely at a loss for words. Ah, uh, yes, you've saved my home, Smash. Please excuse me, I'm just filled with all sorts of emotions. Thankfully, the monsters hadn't fully cleared out the treasury, so I can reward you properly. Sweet. Another request? Oh, baby. Thank you for playing the Unknown World early demo. Oh, awesome, that was it. I hope you enjoyed playing it as much as I enjoyed making it. Now I feel like a complete idiot for not finding those party members and having so much trouble because that is all it is, that first area. But pretty cool. So Marcus says this is my big first solo project and I'm absolutely excited to get this game off the ground. Unknown World is a love letter to all the classic JRPG games I've played over the course of my life. I've taken all I've learned from playing these games I've tried to implement them while giving them my unique style and flavoring. The decision to go with an 8-bit Game Boy Color aesthetic came from the love of one of my favorite JRPGs, Dragon Quest III, as well as the desire to challenge myself to make mostly authentic retro-styled game. 
In a way, it's sort of a stab at the stereotype of games feigning a retro look to mask poor pixel art. I want to show the naysayers that it can be done well. And that's the thing, Marcus is also an artist, he does commissions and whatnot, so if uh, if you like the stuff, you like what you see, go ahead, uh, hit him up, all of his info is going to be in the video description below, all the info for the game as well, if you want to check it out, give him your thoughts, uh, there's an area on the website of the game where you can post comments, let him know if there's uh, some glitchy stuff, some stuff that uh, you really enjoyed, some stuff that you didn't enjoy, all that good stuff. It's always been my dream to develop video games, and Unknown World is my first independent step at reaching my goal. I'd love it if you would join me and enjoy the game I created. You can follow development on my social media, there it all is right there. If you are also interested, you can help support development of Unknown World by donating to my Patreon, patreon.com slash I'm working on this full time, so any form of support you can give helps. That even means comments and criticism, so go ahead, download the game yourself, play through it, test out all the skills like I was doing, and uh, yeah, let them know what you think. Again, I want to thank you for playing Unknown World. Look forward to the full game come 2018. Awesome! Super excited! Uh, maybe I'll go back and see if I can get some of those coins and change some classes or do a new file, do some different classes, because, I mean, it's a very short game. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you played it. If you do end up playing it, uh, please leave a little review, uh, some comments and criticisms on the game website. Uh, there's like a little comments and review section. And uh, let, let Marcus know that Smash Central sent you. Please do me that one solid and let him know I sent you if you end up playing the game and leaving it comment for him but thank you guys so much for watching all the way until the end if you want to see some super smash brothers content click the top video and splatoon 2 is about to come out so if you want to catch some splatoon content to get hyped click the bottom video i'm mg smash central thanks for watching all the way until the end and peace out